Hi friends, in this video, let's talk about write join in the SQL Server. To work with any kind of join, we need minimum two tables. Here I will be taking two tables as employee table and department table. First, let, let me explain pictorially how the write join is going to work. So if you go to the picture, I have an employee table. So black circle is employee table and department, uh, department table is a green circle. So if you see this, so this is my employee table is a left table and department table is a right table. So here I will be talking about a right join. So in the right join, so what would be the result here? So in the right join, first we will get the common rows between the employee table and department table. So let me show you what is the common rows. So this is the highlighted one is the common rows between the employee table and department table plus so what extra rows i will get apart from the inner join when i go over a right join so you will get the common rows plus what are all the remaining rows in the right table so when i click the right table so these are all the list of remaining rows which are in the department table now the total rows in the right join equal to common rows plus the remaining rows which are there in the department table so let me take a one example where i have a new department which none of the employees are tagged to this particular department so that is a scenario to work with a right join so here i will be taking one table as employee the other table as a department so here if you see this so i have an employee table with uh, five columns id employee employee name salary joining date and department number if you see this so this is the data I have. This is the data I have. So five records with five columns. Now let me go to the department table. So where I have four department with two columns. If you see this department number 10, 20, 30 and 40. Here to work with the right join, I created a, a row with a support department. 40 as a support department. But none of the employees are there in the support department. Let me go to this query result. If you see this, so none of the employees belongs to the 40 department. It means that it is a new department, but none of the employees are tied to this particular department. So this is an example I am going to use for the right join. Now, so as a part of the right join, so as we discussed, we will be getting the common data. First, we will be getting the common data between the employee and department table. Plus, so whatever the data is remaining in the department table, I will be getting. Okay. So for the remaining data, so what would be the common columns? So that time the common columns will be null. Now let me show you the, that example with a query. Let me write a query. Okay. First select. So I'll be keeping empty as the column is uh, for time being. Select from EMP. I'll be keeping E as a alias name for a employee. So I'm going to write write join. So you, you need to use a write join as a keyword. You need to use write space join and the DEPT as a a right table i'm keeping d as the alias name for that on e dot so dept number equal to d dot dept number so this is how we'll write now here i'll be putting what are all the columns i need e dot id employee comma e dot employee name comma e dot um, so salary comma d dot department name so these are all the list of columns i need so as we all know that, so these five columns, so we'll be getting all the end-to-end -end data. But the extra sixth column, I sixth row, I'll be getting as a 40 support. Okay. So for that particular row, I'll be getting other employee, all the other employee rows will be, employee columns will be null. You see this, first five rows, we got the data. Each and every column is uh, populated with a value. But if you go to the sixth row, because sixth row is nothing but a, uh, right join row so for that particular right join row so none of the employees are tied so if you see first three columns belongs to employee table so that is the reason why it is null the fourth column belongs to the department table that is the reason why it has a value because this department created recently and none of the employees are tied to this particular department so that is the reason why so because of the right join so we got this record but all the other employee related columns are null so this is how my right join is going to work in the PLSQL or SQL server. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like our videos, please subscribe and share it with your friends. 
थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग